the Temple Mount in Jerusalem, the place where heaven and earth meet, where Solomon's temple stood, and where Herod built his magnificent edifice. It is sacred to more than half of the world's population. However, some of its past has remained enigmatic. It is the most politically contested site on the planet, and so no archaeological excavation has ever taken place here. Now, for the first time in the history of Jerusalem, we have the opportunity to reveal the hidden treasures that are buried in its soil. In 1999, while I was a student of archaeology, I heard about an illegal excavation that took place in the Temple Mount. A huge pit had been illegally bulldozed deep into the Temple Mount. About 400 truckloads of soil saturated with archaeological artifacts were dumped right down there in the Kidron Valley. Together with other intrigued students, we examined the dumps and realized that they could be a treasure trove of information about the Temple Mount. First of all, welcome to the sifting project of uh, soil from the Temple Mount. Dr. Gabriel Bakai, my professor, enthusiastically helped us identify and date the finds. As a result, we were invited to present the finds of the survey in an important archaeological conference. The significance of the finds led us to establish a project for systematically sifting the soil from the Temple Mount. The Temple Mount is inaccessible to archaeologists. The finds unearthed in the sifting project to cast a new light on the history of, and archaeology of Jerusalem and the Temple Mount. This is a very rare and once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to discover original finds originating from the Temple Mount. In this process of work, we locate, analyze, process, study, categorize, as well as prepare for publication many tens of thousands of artifacts which uh, otherwise would have been thrown away. These are the coins. Now, these are clean coins. They came back from a laboratory cleaning. You'll find a coin and it will look like a green chunk of mud. Spread the material on the tray that way. And then we'll wash the mud off of it. And that's it. So good luck to everyone. What is special about this project is that volunteers from all over the world come here and can experience a tangible connection with the history of Jerusalem. They can touch shards, pots, uh, soil, special architecture elements. And in this way, they can connect to the bigger picture of Jerusalem as a whole. We have been blessed with a constant stream of people from all over the world, totaling more than 150,000 who responded spontaneously to this research and to this opportunity and came to work with us. Yeah, Dina, can you yes. look at something? Is that possibly a coin? Uh, yes it is. Woo! Very lucky group. <laughs> Well done, guys, we have another coin. Woo One of our challenges was how do we deal with so many artifacts that were wrenched from their original context. To overcome this problem, we developed new archaeological methodologies and we are using advanced statistical tools such as data mining software. These new techniques have the potential to produce unprecedented insights into the Temple Mount's history. Our finds tell the story of the many generations of the Temple Mount. They include fragments of magnificent public buildings, jewelry, beads, thousands of ancient coins, figurines, arrowheads, fragments of inscriptions on stone and pottery, dice and game pieces, and much more. We've recovered numerous 
geometric multicolor floor tiles from the second temple period that have enabled us to begin to reconstruct what Herod's Temple Mount courts may have looked like. The entire open-air courts were laid with stones of all colors and all sorts. Sometimes, small finds can be of great significance. This is the first ever ancient Hebrew inscription that was found in the Temple Mount. This seal impression was uh, attached to a fabric, to a sack of money, of gold, silver, but it also has a name on it. And the name of the family of priests is Imer, which is mentioned in the book of Jeremiah. And we know about Pashur, the son of Imer, which was the general manager of the temple. And Pashur, son of Imer the priest, he was the chief officer in the house of the Lord. These finds, if left unpublished, will have no effect on the archaeological research regarding the Temple Mount and will be as though never found. Our main target now is to come up with a proper scientific uh, report, publication that will encourage an educated debate and educated discussion of the uh, entire history of the Temple Mount. One of our most exciting finds is a half-shekel silver coin dated to the time of the Second Temple period. During Temple time, each one contributed a half-shekel towards the upkeep of the Temple. This coin symbolizes public responsibility towards the most spiritual center. This half-shekel has inspired us to launch our own half-shekel campaign. This coin represents a collective effort by concerned people from all over the world to bring to light the true story of the Temple Mount. Each one who is numbered in the census shall give this, half a shekel according to the holy shekel, half a shekel as an offering to the Lord. The future of the Temple Mount is in your hands. Your half shekel will help tell the story of the Temple Mount. Now the project has reached a tipping point. Donate today so that we can take it to the next level.